After dental care under general anesthesia, your child should rest at home. They can go back to school and normal activity the next day, unless your dentist gives you different instructions. Do not let your child forcefully rinse, spit, or touch the inside of their mouth for the rest of the day. Don't let them put fingers and sharp objects, such as toys, popsicle sticks, or straws in their mouth. After 24 hours, help your child gently brush their teeth or wipe their mouth carefully with a moistened towel or cloth. Older children can rinse with warm salt water as often as every two hours. To make a rinse, dissolve a half teaspoon of salt in six ounces or one small cup of warm water. Your child will be offered clear liquids at the hospital such as water, ginger ale, and apple juice after the procedure. Once your child can tolerate liquids at home, you can slowly add soft foods when your child is ready to eat. They should eat soft foods for the next two days. Good options include food that doesn't need a lot of chewing, such as eggs, pudding, yogurt, soups, jello, and soft bread with the crusts cut off. Avoid foods that are too hot, spicy, sticky, chewy, or hard, and absolutely no chewing gum. Your child's nose, mouth, ear, jaw, or throat may be sore after treatment, but some children do not feel much pain after the procedure. Your child may also have sore gums or an upset stomach. Your care team will recommend medications for pain after the procedure, which usually includes acetaminophen or Tylenol and ibuprofen or Motrin. Your child's discomfort should improve after two to four days, and if not, please call your child's dental clinic. Some bleeding is expected in the first 24 hours. If bleeding continues, have your child sit upright comfortably. Fold a clean cloth and place it over the bleeding site and apply pressure for 10 to 15 minutes. Never let your child sleep with a towel in their mouth. If this does not stop bleeding, call your child's dentist. Some swelling of the face may occur as your child heals. Put an ice pack or bag of frozen peas wrapped in a washcloth on the swollen area for 20 minutes on, then 20 minutes off until your child feels better. Never put heat on swelling. If the swelling does not go down within 48 hours, call your child's dentist. There may also be some bruising, which should go away within a week. Contact your child's dental clinic right away if your child has a high fever, severe bleeding of the gums, severe pain, severe vomiting, or dizziness. If your child has a fever of 101 degrees Fahrenheit for more than eight hours, call the Children's Hospital Emergency Department or your child's doctor. We recommend a follow-up evaluation one to two weeks after treatment to check for healing, address concerns, and answer any questions you have. For more information or to answer any questions, call the Children's Hospital Colorado Dental Clinic.